Hi, today we're gonna explore what does it look like and feel like at your seventh stage of life, also known as the Ascended Master, right after this. Hi everyone, Namaste. Hi, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me in this special episode of Mysteries of the Heart Part 7, The Ascended Master. Now ladies and gentlemen, your ideal goal in life is to reach the seventh stage of life. Again, if you have not done so, please watch my very first video on my channel where I go through in detail stages one through seven of your life. Everybody has to go through these seven stages. And uh, a lot of us get stuck and we miss out. And then we uh, most of the time have to come back and then continue where we left off here in the physical world. Now in this video, it's going to be fascinating because I'm going to tell you what does it look like and what does it feel like to be a Ascended Master. That's stage seven. Stage six, remember, is you becoming a lot, a lot more spiritual because we are spiritual beings in a human experience. And at stage six, you become a spiritual master where you have pretty much mastered life and understand what does it mean to be here in the physical. And then you want to share, you want to spread the knowledge and wisdom and you want to uh, uh, just help people to become like you. And then once you're done with that, you uh, finally figure out through many possibly many years of training and contemplation and meditation as well as visions and teachings from other teachers both in the physical and the ascended master ones who are in the higher dimensions and then you finally you reach the ideal the honorable ascended master now at that level you can either leave your body here like uh, a lot of people who experience death the shedding of the human physical body now the death that a master experiences is, is very different from the normal quote unquote death process where he or she chooses to leave their body here and it looks like they, you know, just uh, passed away and the body is here. However, that person, that master, does not experience any pain, any suffering whatsoever. It's like a choice. And then it's like a light switch. Switching off to on. That's how it is. And in the last uh, part six, I discussed how... To go into the light, uh, how to experience the light, the uh, remember the uh, bluish white light, and then go into it, just like people who pass away and then they see the light, and then you will experience the ascension in part seven of your life, and then you have a choice right away to leave your body or keep your physical body, and then transform it into the rainbow body of light and the reason why it's called rainbow is because in the process of transformation in your physical body the people uh, if there's a person in the same room who is watching you uh, make your transformation they will see that you have a great rainbow of light coming from your heart chakra that rotates 
bigger and bigger around your body coming from the heart and it's a rainbow of light many many different colors so with that I'm going to tell you exactly what happens when a person a master sits down meditates sees the bluish white light because that person has to what clear their mind of all thoughts remember I said either it might take you, you know, weeks, months, or even years or an entire lifetime to train yourself to that point. But with the meditation that I pointed out in, the, in this series of videos, Mysteries of the Heart, it will make it much easier for you to see this light. And when you do see this light and you move into it, in the past uh, there have been witnesses who actually stayed in the same room as the master making his or her transformation and they uh, once they saw it they came out and actually tell people what exactly happened and what they saw the process of going from the sixth stage of life to the seventh takes approximately 20 to 30 minutes so the, the, the whole meditation the whole changing the transformation takes about up to 30 minutes. The witness uh, who have seen uh, this master become the ascended master, what happens is that the master will have their body transformed gradually within the 30 minutes. And what you will see, pay attention, what you will see is that their body will start to glow. You, they will glow similar, similar to the light of God discussed many times in my uh, videos. The uh, body will glow into a bluish white light and it will get brighter and brighter and brighter. The entire body glows brighter as they meditate. And pretty soon, you will see that there, where your heart chakra is, you will see a stream of light going down from the fifth chakra down to the fourth through all the way to the first chakra. A stream of rainbow light, meaning you will see literally thousands of colors, a stream here. At the same time, your body is still have this bluish white light, just like God, the light of God. And this uh, stream of colorful lights will start to go into a circular motion. It will go like this. It will go into a circular motion. Okay, instead of a stream down this way, it's going to rotate into bigger and bigger and bigger circles and it will continue to be uh, sometimes as big as the entire room and go outside the room too so whoever is witnessing this transformation they're gonna be uh, very very uh, blinded by this light incredible uh, incredible light and you can also you will also see their hair will start to change colors, doesn't matter if it's black or blonde or whatever. You, you will see their hair because these, um, these powerful lights of God, because remember energetic light called the rays of God, you will see their hair change into a different color, kind of a silver golden color. And their hair will also, if the short, will grow longer. If it's already long, it will still grow longer. And the silvery golden light will glow as well from the crown chakra. And uh, anyone who is witnessing this will be an uh, extraordinary amazement at what's going on. So within the 30 minutes, all these things will happen. But not only that but you will start to hear sounds emitting 
from this person. The sounds are like uh, angelic orchestra singing a beautiful universal song. And that song is n not only a song that you never heard before, but it's also a song specifically for that ascended master. And to continue, you will also hear the, the sounds um, of the universe. It's like a, a frequency of um, changing frequencies uh, from the third density, okay, this third dimension, third density consciousness, and then switching over to fourth dens density consciousness, and you will hear this frequency switch as well. Kind of like you're playing the uh, notes on a piano, changing from one note to another. And finally, you will have this uh, wonderful fragrance, this smell that extraordinary, it's so beautiful. It's, it's, it's like a combination of the, the best perfumes in the world put together into that uh, room where that master is transforming. It's, it's, it's so amazing that you will be uh, enamored You'll be attached. You, it's, it's way better than watching a movie. It's way better than anything you ever witnessed. And then approximately 20 or 30 minutes, that master will seemingly disappear. It's like all these lights, and all, the light show and the sounds and the music and the, the uh, beautiful, lovely smell. You, you're actually standing there and you're falling in love with what's going on. That's exactly what's going to happen if you ever witness this. Um, and then the master will disappear. Now they did not go anywhere. They're still in that room, but their body has been transformed into the rainbow body of light. And then they have switched over to the fourth dimensional um, existence. So from there they, they can do anything they want. I will make a video in the future that you will see uh, you know, what the total life of the master, they can do whatever they want. They, they can even ascend to even high dimensions in a heartbeat if they want to, if they have trained in this life. Going to the seventh stage is kind of like an honorable uh, way of of finishing this life. It's an honor de degree. Where if you just uh, die, did not reach the seventh uh, level, then that is just a, a passing of the grade once you go into the light after your death. But the seventh stage person has uh, pretty much finished life uh, as a valedictorian, as a high grade graduate. Okay. So one more thing, let's move over to my computer and we're going to see a few samples of uh, some of the masters right now. All right, this is the Ascended Master, Babaji. He has um, shown up to me before in a vision and has uh, taught me a great lesson in the past. Master Babaji is a fifth dimensional ascended master. As you can see here, he has a glow or a halo above his head. And that is just the um, radiance of the, the uh, master's crown chakra. The, the seventh chakra. Remember the sixth chakra is your third eye discussion in one of the uh, Mysteries of the Heart videos that I made and uh, all the masters have this halo and also the angels as well. Anyone who uh, have ascended to the fourth dimension or higher have a halo. Now uh, the uh, masters 
are able to uh, transcend the uh, the law of physics in any dimension they go into. They can fly, they can teleport, they can uh, transform themselves to other t people, uh, different appearances, as well as sizes as well, and ages. So they can change themselves to any age they want. And uh, in just just a matter of thought, and they can transform at any time. So let's move on to the next master, who is Ascended Master Mary Magdalene. Yes, during the times of the Bible, uh, this is actually a esoteric knowledge. Um, you can read a little bit about it in uh, the Nag Hammadi scriptures that, that was uh, dug up in the uh, lands of Egypt. Nag Hammadi scriptures talks about Master Mary Magdalene or Mary Magdala and uh, she was one of the top disciples of Master Jesus or Yeshua at the time one of the female disciples now I'm going to tell you a, uh, a mystery that Master Jesus did not just have 12 male disciples he also had 12 female disciples and Master Mary was uh, was one of the leaders of the 12 female disciples that he had and uh, she ascended in that lifetime after studying under Master Yeshua and she uh, ascended just like the same description I told you earlier in this video that's what she looked like after the transformation okay let's move on this is, of course, Master Jesus. And uh, the Master is actually a seventh dimensional uh, ascended being, uh, which is at the core, the, the, in that dimension is called the dimension of the Logos. And he is the actual embodiment of the galaxy we live in right now, the Milky Way galaxy. When you uh, ascend yourself to the higher dimensions, you, you, you know, you actually train to become this particular logo, logos. Logoic is, is uh, singular and logos is plural. And uh, so when he was here walking on the earth a little bit, uh, about 2,000 years ago, uh, he was the embodiment of the galactic mind at that time. So you can uh, barely comprehend uh, how much of an advanced being he was at that time. So he was able to achieve and remember who he was very quickly. And that's a lot of our uh, people here on Earth today uh, do the same thing, who or higher beings coming here to help Earth uh, transcend uh, us in itself and teach people and they they get to know and remember who they are very quickly like here the Master Jesus Jesus I have uh, seen him and met him before in a dream slash vision before actually a few visions as well and he appeared to me in uh, in dazzling white robe, uh, standing very tall like a mountain. And uh, he told me uh, in, in, very, in a very powerful tone about who I am and what I will see and, you know, who I will become in that vision. Very, very, very powerful. So let's move on to Another one of my teachers is Master Quan Shi Yin. Uh, she was and became a master back in China, uh, studying the, uh, the scriptures of Master uh, Gautama, the Buddha. And that's how she prepared herself through his teachings at that time. 
She became a master uh, in her seventh stage very quickly, uh, in her 20s even. And uh, she experienced the incredible transformation that I showed you earlier as well. Uh, you can see again the halo around her head from the crown chakra and also down here in the lotus that she sits on, the 1000 petal lotus. What that means is a representation of her crown chakra. The crown chakra looks like a 1000 petal lotus when it has been activated. In the future video, I will talk about the chakras I've said before, and I will discuss what uh, this 1000 petal lotus really means in your seventh chakra. All right, as a bonus, I want to tell you an another uh, mystery is that um, there are two types of souls coming from God because you remember you are a fragment of God and there are two types of souls. Uh, the two main souls are one is called the Son of God and the other is called the Daughter of God. I'm sure you probably never heard of the Daughter of God before but I will explain in just a minute. Um, remember that the original Trinity is called God the Father, God the Mother and God the Son. And God the Son created uh, human souls, you know, not, not human souls that you see right now, but human souls that are much higher and then you go down into many, many different divisions as you get to the human souls you see today. And when, you, when you're saying a human soul, it, it means that uh, these souls tend to go into the lower dimensions and experience life and then upload their experience back to God, their creator, in real time. And that's why human soul really means. And another name for that is the Son of God. And if you uh, are an angelic soul, you are called the daughter of God. A daughter of God means uh, the uh, female aspect of God and you your soul was created from God the mother so the the male and female the uh, son God God the son and God the daughter um, it does have something to do with male and female but really it has to do with where you came from the reason why I told you that is that there are very few souls here on planet Earth right now who are angelic souls. And they are daughters of God. And when they are finished uh, with that, what they uh, have to do here, their mission on Earth, they go back to where they came from because they, if they're here to teach, but they also learned from it as well and they will also go through their own transformation and ascension as well and as a daughter of God you will ascend in the angelic form instead of in the ascended master form so those are the two different ascensions so there you have it there are much much more to cover and I will hopefully do more videos for you about the ascension process uh, in the future. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time on the new episode. Namaste, take care, have a wonderful day.